everyone. Welcome to another episode of Psychonaut Sessions, your home for all things psycho. This is Daniel Moeller, and I'm doing an unboxing video today by a giant box of stuff uh, sent by a good friend, Wiley J. Connor, um, on Facebook. So Wiley has been pretty active member of the Power Comics community, so we share very similar interests, and he mentioned to me, hey, I've got a box of books I would love to send you if you want to unbox them on your channel. And I was like, hell yeah. And it just so happened I received this package the moment when I was getting a great visit by a good friend of mine, Aaron Conway. So he's here. What's up, everybody? Yeah. So my regular co-host happened to be here and he dropped off the latest copy of his amazing book, Yawn the Vagabond, number two. So... Everybody, please go hit him up for this amazing comic. It is awesome. It's one of my favorite series out right now. Thanks, man. Yep, you are welcome. So enough of all of the uh, preliminaries, and we will go ahead and see what Wiley has to offer. So it was cool that you could be here for this, man. Hell of a box. Yeah, I was just, I was kind of mind blown. I tried to cover up our addresses here. To protect our identities, but I may just have to risk it in order to get this open. This is half of the fun, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, all right, already I am seeing some goodies that I know are going to make me happy. Yes, all right, so, woo, this is like so we've got some Eagle. I love Eagle. I don't know if you've ever checked out Eagle. Uh, but I don't think so. Yeah, it's like, you know, this is like 1980s like ninja style comics, man. Really cool stuff. You should check that out. Shuriken. Oh, yes. <sighs> so I have a feeling Wiley is already just stacked up. A few of my uh, Psychonaut session videos. So more shuriken. That's a cool cover. I know. I just I too. love these black and white '80s ninja books. This this is the best. 1986. It's like my favorite year. This was kind of like that. I don't know if it was full fledged anime, but at least they were like going for that style. But I think, but it was done by Victory. But I know Victory, I know Victory, the publisher, brought over some actual um, anime, or I'm sorry, manga, mangaka artists. And wow, and they're all three, at least for two, three, and four, each have different sizes. This is pretty cool. A photo cover. Oh, dude, Night Streets. I just, uh, you and I oh, did yeah. an unboxing video, and I just got number one of this. This is awesome. This cover looks like the cover of a video game, dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is amazing. Gaijin. Oh, this is beautiful, Wiley. Oh, my God. So, everybody, you got to hit Wiley up on Facebook. Um, he's got a, a nice stack of books himself, and... I know he's even possibly even got some projects and things coming out soon, so you gotta follow him and promote him. This looks amazing. Wolverine got a hold of this one. Oh, dang! Yep, yeah, the dogs. Ninja is a really good one. Um, I've seen Ninja before. A lot of fun. I mean, it tells you what it's all about right there in the title. As this is an old Kamiko title. This is great because I actually got number one of this one, so now I can finish it off. Nice. Stark Future. I actually love Stark Future, and I'm trying to collect more of these, and this is one that I don't have, coincidentally. So, Look uh, out, Skyriders. Here comes one bad ass. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love it. That's awesome. Here, here's some newer stuff, too. I'm not opposed to that. Nice. Looking really good. Masrat. I've seen Masrat around before. And it's one I have not picked up yet. 
newer. This is still 24 years old. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> sorry. Troll Lords, good old True Studios. Troll Lords is one of those books that you find in almost every dollar bin. And they're, they're a lot of fun. A lot of people don't like kind of the anthropomorphic sort of stuff, but I don't mind it. It's fun. Here's Red TF. Red TF is actually one I've been wanting to pick up as well. It's supposed to be kind of like a fun, kind of classic Star Lord esque sort of sci fi. Let's see here. Silver Heels. Oh, god damn, I love that cover. Oh, amazing. Some color. Oh, this is an anthology too, so we got some different stuff in here. Nice. Love it. Love it. Graylor. I've not checked out Graylor before. We got more color. Looking good. Got some like pirate, pirate kind of fantasy sort of stuff here. Awesome. Will not be opposed to that at all whatsoever. Pretty coincidental that I picked up some new lawn boxes for my collection today, huh? <laughs> Star Reach, yes. Oh I love God, Star Reach. Poison Elves in there. Yep, I have, like, not opposed to Star Reach at all. It's one of my favorite anthologies. Some good, really good stuff. And yeah, Poison Elves. You know, funny enough, Poison Elves, I have not actually read a single book. So far, have you I read some early? Really? Yeah, I think I've read the first, whatever the first trade was. Well, I'm looking forward to diving in. It's one that I've always wanted to tackle, so it's here. Buddha's palm. Yep, I know a lot about Buddha's palm. It's got some really cool coloring chops in it. I'm wondering if this is one of those that they actually colored with colored pencils or something. It just looks like such a weird like clean coloring job in some cases painted but in other cases not so but really cool looking stuff looking forward to diving into that dark adventures is amazing um this guy was like a wrestler back in the yeah. 70s I did a psycho yeah, session I, I was like I recognize yeah so this was like his alter ego and he was like well respected in the comics community. People loved him. Life Brigade. This is like one of the best power comics ever of all time. This has some of the most trippy art ever. Oh my god, this is such a good book. God, you are gonna be busy. I know. Well, you know, it's it's a calling, yeah. Aaron. It's a calling. Eagle is another one of those um, from Crystal Comics, just like samurai ninja kind of black and white books and again another one i've been wanting to collect so hell yes we got eagle one and two right here got almost that almost looks morpheus like yeah. it's really cool love love it all right let me see if i can get these kind of actually let me Whew, this is my back is hurting already just going through this. Sea Dragon is another one I wanted to pick up. Elite Comics. Just kind of looks like a fun, eccentric. One of the few that actually had color back in the day. That very like Malibu-esque sort of vibe right. to it. Really love it. X-Mutants. Love me some X-Mutants. Oh, wow. Yeah. This was Ma Malibu's like big kind of alternative to the X-Men sort of thing. And this was when Malibu kind of had, they owned Eternity and Amazing. And so X-Mutants kind of like flitted around through a bunch. We got Doomsday Squad here. This is back when Fantagraphics kind of was just like all over the place when they were first starting. And this actually has some John Byrne art. Sweet. Some early John Byrne art. Oh man, but the sci-fi chops in is just mmm. Nom nom nom. Oh yeah, here we go. Silver Wolf. The Eradicators. I actually needed number two, so man, this guy's filling out my collection. Wiley, I owe you. I owe you. Excellent stuff. Any any anything Silver Wolf, I'm always up for. 
and I'm I've almost got my entire Silver Wolf collection filled out. Distant Soil is another one I've always wanted to check out. Oh wow, yeah, I remember ads for it all over the place. Yeah, I follow Colleen Doran. Yeah. Um, and of course, edited by Richard Penny, oh, wow. Wendy and Richard Penny of ElfQuest fame, and what Warp Graphics is that? Was that the name of their love? I always love anything from them. Blackthorn Publishing was known for a lot of like three D books. They actually even did they had a part of the GI Joe property, but only in three D huh. at that time. So that's what they were well known for. I'm gonna check that out. Woo! All right, Champions Eclipse. I will never say no to an Eclipse book. They're kind of like one of those like Malibu or whatnot that I'm always a hundred percent on board. More five of six. More Buddha's palm again. Look at this coloring inside of Buddha's palm. It is just gorgeous. I need to figure out how they did that. Beautiful stuff. That's a freaking amazing cover of blue. Yep. Blood Three Sword six. Dynasty. Some more manga. Some more amazing, amazing artwork by Jade Man Comics. Looking forward to diving into that. So I don't know if you know. Glossy, glossy cover. I don't know if you know this, Aaron, but one of the things that I am trying to finish out my collection of is My the Psychic Girl. I have quite a few and I think these help kind of flesh out the collection and I don't know if you've ever flipped through it But the the artwork and the story in it is just fun and amazing. It's kind of like a just a little bit more like like modern day laid-back version of Akira just like you know that kind of style of Manga, but it's just so well done. So I'll often look at that for I That's pretty interesting. Somebody wrote gay on top of this. Okay, well. It's written on? Yeah, it looks like somebody wrote on it with marker. Yeah, well, you know, that's a positive thing in our book, so, ha, huh, yeah, if somebody meant that to be a slur, then you can kiss off. So some more manga I'm looking for. It, God, the work. Wow. It's just like not lazy. That's the thing about manga that's just so beautiful. I know some people have complaints because a lot of the characters look the same. But if you look at the technique, man, just power and energy all the way through. Slave labor, gra labor graphics. That's awesome. I like me some old slave labor graphics. I've not heard of Neoman before, but this is Gary Winnick. And Frank Cicero, so they are creators that I'm aware of. Oh, that looks fun as hell. Thor Sverd, yes. This is the story of Thor. This is kind of known in the power comic genre. That's some good stuff. Southern Sword Knights. Thor. Some more fantasy oriented kind of stuff. Whew. I think Wiley really knows who I am. <laughs> like, he, he kind of tagged onto my personality pretty damn quick. Oh, wow. Okay. Sunrunners. This is one from Eclipse that I've been wanting to pick up, so I'm really excited to get an issue. I don't think I have any yet, so this gives me an opportunity to fill out, as well as Fantasy. This is another good one. I think this is a... Uh, anthology from Apple and Warp which is another Richard and Wendy Penny editorial so yep Richard Penny yep some so some good stuff love it Starstone this is another air cell book to fill out my air cell collection and it is actually again it's another series that I have not tackled yet so happy to get one of those Die Kamikaze. So now we're getting into some now comics territory. I just covered, um, Aaron, you may not know yet, but by the time this video comes out, there'll be a uh, now comics Terminator comic nice. that's been out that's on the channel. Some of the best now. Yeah. So I was always a huge fan of now comics. 
Dalgoda. This is another one I've been interested in tackling. Anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic sci-fi animal. Oh, yeah, most of this run. So this is perfect. The I have issue one. So this was done by uh, Walter Koenig um, of Star Trek, uh -huh. and it was uh, drawn by Dan and David Day, who I had on. I had right, yeah. data on my channel. So by the Day brothers. So this is issue two. I have issue one. So hell yes. Blue ribbon. Blue ribbon is pretty cool. It's got some like fun, just very classic sort of stuff. Miss Mystic. This is awesome. So this is Neil Adams with PC Comics, and um, I remember, dude, back in the day, our buddy Thrash collected these like nobody's business. Um, back when Miss Mystic was with uh, Continuity Comics. <laughs> And so I remember he like collected a ton of those. Yeah. Rogue Troopers, always a lot of fun. Have a couple of these. Again, more cool, just like sci-fi stuff. And here we're getting into your territory, sir. Oh, I'll be stealing some of those. Yeah, we got some Valiant in the house. That's Aaron's bread and butter. So we got Archer and Armstrong and Magnus the Robot Fighter. Nice. And we also got a Ninjack. But the Valiant logo, is this later? It's newer Valiant. Is yeah, that newer? No, not newer, La later Valiant. Is this still in the same series? Like the same volume of Ninjack? Yeah. But they just changed the... Well, what number is it? It's number 23. Yeah. It's still, it's like after the second or third sale. Nice. Cool. Now we got some Tick spinoff stuff. Paul the Samurai. Love it. This is like perfect cartoony fun comics right here, man. Looking forward to dive in. Max the Magnificent, Slave Labor Graphics. This is actually one I've been wanting to pick up again as well. So Wiley, you've read my mind. Mr. Average. So I actually have a Mr. Average, but what's weird is this is a different company. I wonder if this is the same issue that I have. Huh, I'll have to look into it. But this was a fun, kind of interesting comic. It was just like really weird. Bill Foster and Sunny Strait. But uh, really just weird off the wall stuff. Buffo laughs, so this looks really... Whoa. Yeah. This looks really indie. Historic first Holocaust. <laughs> right. Let's see, what year is this? 19, this is 1986. Ahead of the game with the holographic cover. This looks like the kind of book that was made in someone's basement. Which is perfect. That's... Awesome. That's beautiful. <laughs> Love it. Oh, hell yeah. Renegade Press. So if you watch my channel, you know I will collect anything Renegade Press, which kind of helped start my channel because they, they're the ones that printed uh, Black Labyrinth. Um, the, the wife of Dave Sim, the ex-wife of Dave Sim, started Renegade Press. Those annoying post brothers. Holy crap. Rip off press. Nope, I have not seen this. This is new. Number 21 and number 19. Huh. I'll have to check it out. Looking forward to more Renegade Press. I know about Wordsmith. This is supposed to be a really good, fun book. Very kind of sophisticated, very verbose, because it's literally like about a Wordsmith, about a writer. So, But I've heard a lot about it. Epic Comics. We'll never say no. Gerard Jones, Steve Matson. Ron Randall. Have you heard of Idol before? No. I haven't either. Well, looks fun. Can't say no to that. Uh, Sirius, Demon Gate. Yeah, this looks hella fun. My kind of stuff. I don't have a lot from Sirius uh, Entertainment. Oh, yeah. 
Squad. So when we were at our last con together, Aaron, I picked up Oz Squad number one. Right. And I might do a, a thing on it on my channel, but it ended up being like so twisted. Oh, that, uh, but yeah, I remember I, you yeah, telling me. That I'm afraid to kind of even do anything on it. But this is Oz Squad number four. I didn't even realize that they had gotten this far. But it's crazy, man. Like, it is, it's not for kids in any way, shape, or form. I would have to put a disclaimer on that. The Dream Mockingbird Studios, number one. This looks amazing. This looks like a, an 80s movie from, like, Canon Films or something. Yeah, That's all, awesome. all you gotta do is make a comic book that reminds me of anything from Ken and Films, and I'll buy it. And Wise Man number one from Onyx Cross Comics. You know what's weird is a lot of stuff too in the like early '90s. There were a lot of like very they weren't Christian, but just very religious heavy comics. Right. Um, just really weird stuff. I think it was from the popularity of the Crow. You know, and all the religious imagery there, and so, like, if you think about, like, priest, chapel, prophet, right. you know, all of these, like, so the indies were really going after that. Cool! Awesome! Man, thanks a ton, Wiley. Like, I am so excited to dive into these, and I literally think I'm going to have to go take a knife to Aaron right now, because he's trying to snag some off camera here, so... Can't prove anything. Yeah. Without missing, you'll know why. But 100%, dude, these are amazing. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to jumping in. And in fact, I think I'm just going to do that now because it's Memorial Day weekend here. So thanks a ton, Wiley. Everybody go be friends with Wiley. Buy stuff from him if he has it coming up. And I think he does have some projects that he might have in the works. So uh, promote whatever he has coming. Thanks so much, dude. Thank you, everybody else. Have a great uh, weekend and uh, whatever, you know. Love you all. Keep it psycho.